Hi and welcome to Storytime Craft with me, Evon. This is my first time posting on YouTube, so please pause and give this channel a subscription and a like. Thank you so much. Last Friday, I told the story One Fish, Two Fish by Dr. Seuss, and I decided to do two crafts this week. They are my favorite characters. You can choose your own fa favorite characters, but these are my favorite. For this particular one, it's simple one with a handprint. You can see, it's my hand. And then just to write out the words, yell, yell, yell. The yelling serious creature is yellow, so begin by brushing some yellow paint onto the side of your hand and printing onto a drawing block. Curve your little finger to make a print of its neck and hair. Next, to form the eyes and nose, just clutch your fingers together and print again. I decided to print its nose and tongue in red. To do so, dip your index finger in red paint, blot a nose and tongue. Alternatively, you may just paint the creature's shape in yellow. Remember, no perfection is necessary. In fact, a slightly blurred print will give your creature a softer look. Now the fun part begins. You will need a black marker pen to form the yelling creature. Begin with its facial features from its shut eyes, bushy brows, nose, mouth, facial hair. Creativity is encouraged here, so add features as you wish. Tip Use a pen to gently form the features if freehand drawing worries you. Next, move on to forming its hair. Use gentle wavy strokes to create movement. Begin lightly all over, from the tip of its head to its neck. Once the head looks formed, you should begin to draw its neck. Use tiny strokes to create fur-like effect for the outline of its neck. You will need to shade the neck area too, to give it dimension. Remember that you're creating a furry effect, so curve your strokes and keep them gentle. Begin in one direction, then cross to the other. Be gentle in your strokes. You may always add more strokes, but you can't take away. So start small and gentle. Keep adding strokes until you're satisfied with how your creature looks. Once your yelling creature is ready, add a background. Mine is red and I use simple bold strokes. Now you will need to add the chosen phrase, which is all he does is yell, yell, yell. Lightly pen the words down on four lines. I wanted to emphasize the yells, so here are the ways that I did so. Increasing the font size, using capital letter, draws attention to the words. Bolding them and finishing them off with shadow too, so the words pop. Once the phrase is complete, I added several lines to the creature's mouth outwards. Just like how words would flow from our mouths, it makes it all the more yellish. Da -da -da -da. What do you think? Do you like your yelling creature? For this second one, it's my favorite. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Can you can you see why? It is so girly with lots of hair. I like I like this particular craft a lot. So it encourages children to search for words, and they have to cut it out and stick it as well. And on top of that, you'll be using a pan to draw all the hair on both. Let's begin with the basic form of face and cushion. I chose yellow for its face and red for cushion. Now things will get more exciting. You'll be creating its hair. Using blue paint on the brush, create cascading hair in circular motion. Use a pencil to lightly design its wavy hair if you wish. Then go over with blue paint. You may continue to add more volume by adding finer strokes. Keep adding strokes and repainting the hair until it looks good. Now you will add elements to complete the drawing. Use a black marker pen, draw the cushion chair, add a comb and bottle. You may shade to give dimension. Once done, you need to outline and define the blue hair. Similar to the furry yelling creature, use small curved strokes to create its hair. Follow the strands of hair, curving naturally. I also added a shadow to the right side to create greater definition. You may wish to do so too. Repeat this process. Take a step back to look at the hair and then add more to the spaces that seems empty to you. We will recreate its body now. To do this, simply crumple a piece of paper and glue onto the body section. The highlight of this project is the word search in magazines. Create an awareness for the different types of fonts, sizes, 
bold italic and shadow. Take your time to explore. Cut out the words brush and comb. Select different sizes and colours, then just simply glue them on. Voila! Brush and comb is complete. I would like to know which one you like more. Please post your creation onto FB or IG stories. Add the hashtag storytime and tag me too, so I'll be able to look at your wonderful creations. Have fun and goodbye from me, Avon. Remember, we are all creators of happy human beings.